I'm going to give you a little quick book haul. Hi guys, I am starting off this vlog all dressed up because we are going to take family pictures. I'm very excited. I'm the only one that's excited. He is not excited. <laughs> He's tried to talk me out of this so many times today. But we have been, well, I have been wanting to take family pictures for so long since Brio was born and we haven't had a chance or a good time for someone to take them or whatever. So I'm all ready. Here's Quinn's outfit that I just laid out and I'm gonna let her pick out which bracelets she wants to wear. I cannot even tell you the last time I got this ready for something, literally. I haven't touched this hairspray can in like a year probably. I just curled my hair with this curling iron. It was already straightened from yesterday. And then I curled it with that. And I actually turned on this smaller one because I think I might try to put some curls in Quinn's hair. I have never used any kind of heat on her hair at all or any products in her hair other than just shampoo to wash it. I give her pigtails for every photo shoot we ever do because it's like my favorite hairdo, but I was like, this time I'm gonna switch it up. Her hair definitely needs like something done to it. So I'm gonna just see how it'll hold a few loose curls. I'll use hairspray if I need to. I'm washing her hair tonight anyway, I think, cause she's been swimming the last few days. So Julie's gonna come take them for us. And then my mom is coming too. She's just going to try to keep the kids happy while we're taking pictures. It takes a tribe to take family pictures with a toddler and a baby. I'm actually gonna give Bria a bath. It's really fast for me. The curling iron's way too big. Cause you can't even like wrap it around. All right, we just pulled up to our picture location. So we are gonna try to do these over there as fast as possible. I also brought Bree's outfit. <laughs> I'm gonna change her before we get out because that girl has a blowout in everything. So I was not gonna risk her having a blowout in this on the way here and not having an outfit. So I put her in something else on the way here. Well, one of us is already passed out. At least she slept on the way here. She's had kind of a rough day, so. Here's our photographer. Hi guys. Hire her if you need good pictures. I don't actually. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't actually do photography, <laughs> just for us. What, what was I doing, showing this? No, I just asked you to hold it while I get her out. Oh. <laughs> but you can show it. This is gonna be my outfit of the night. Oh, cute. Quinn, are you excited to take pictures? Yes. We actually took our pregnancy announcement picture for Bria at the end of that bridge right there. Here's a little behind the scenes. slug friend that made a home out of our camera bag while we were taking pictures. Ew! <laughs> it's actually like the perfect night. Um, if we didn't get good pictures, at least we probably got a million mosquito bites, right? Yeah, I'm covered. Actually, your I got some on my. Covered. I tried to take some little videos too to make a reel. I don't know how good it will turn out because it was kind of at the end when everyone was just done. Sun coming up, you make my world come alive. Oh, you know I can't get enough. You walk by my side. You are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. Happy 4th of July, Bria's first 4th of July, and she's refusing all naps today to celebrate. <laughs> right? <laughs> you should put her in a blue outfit, that way she's patriotic because she's white with red cheeks. Her eyes are so blue. 
Actually, she looks completely red on the camera. <laughs> Her cheeks have been so pink from teething. Poor baby. I can, I think I can actually feel a hard spot in her gums, like on the corner. I might be totally wrong, but I feel like that's where her first tooth might come in. Eric just went with my dad and picked up a bunch of wood to hopefully be for the sensory tables that he's building. We're really, really, really hoping that they can go for sale this week. We're gonna have we to really work. good deal on lumber just uh, today, so. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I just baked some sweet potatoes for Bria because I actually gave her a little piece of sweet potato the other day. I'm gonna try to give her more today and she seemed to like it. She spit a little bit back out, but it was more because she didn't know what to do with it in her mouth, like how to really swallow it. And it was all mashed up but she actually ate some of it too. She didn't cry, she liked it. So I'm very encouraged. I just baked these two so that I can mash up and have for her this week. Mm. Yum, yum. You gotta swallow it. She technically doesn't turn six months for eight more days but I gave her food early because she's so ready. <laughs> she wants it. This is a new experience for my baby to want the food I'm offering them. Quinn is a good eater now, but this stage was just so hard. We're going over to Eric's parents' house when Quinn wakes up from her nap later. But until then, I need to make an apple pie because that's what I am contributing, that and corn on the cob. Right now I'm about to make our lunch. I'm making Green Chef. If I haven't made it clear that I love the vegetarian meal plan, all three meals this week look so good. So I'm not making all three, but I'll show you. Actually, I'll just show the card. Actually, we haven't even decided which one we're making. We have blistered tomato and feta cavatappi, creamy broccoli and potato soup, and Japanese style vegetable fritters. All of these look really good. What do you want? Um, I'm leaning towards one of the two, not, not the middle one. I'm leaning towards the- How about the pasta? Okay. Okay, we're making some pasta for lunch. Wow. As you can see, Green Chef whoa, has every ingredient perfectly portioned, mostly prepped, so there is no waste and you don't have to spend a ton of time prepping all of the ingredients because it's almost all done for you. And as of now, you are able to mix and match the meals. So before you would just pick one meal plan, but now if people in your family eat differently and somebody likes to eat keto, somebody likes to eat vegetarian, you can mix and match the meals, which is super convenient. So now Green Chef is making that so much easier for families that have different eating styles within one household. All right, everything is cooking. The pasta is cooking, it only has a couple minutes left. I'm chopping up the kale over here, and a little tip for any wives or husbands, whoever does the cooking, if someone in your household does not like to eat a certain ingredient, which for me that is Eric, he does not like kale. So it's said to chop it into bite-sized pieces, which I did that at first, but then I ended up just putting it in my food processor and making it a lot smaller. The smaller it is, the more he eats it and doesn't mind it. I also chopped my onion in this food processor for any recipe ever. The recipe card technically said to leave them in bigger the onions in bigger strips which I wouldn't mind but Eric doesn't like onion that much so if I chop it really tiny he doesn't mind it this actually looks amazing we're gonna eat our lunch. Just so you know, Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company. They have meals for so many lifestyles as I kind of already talked about, but they do have keto, keto and paleo, vegetarian, vegan, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. So something for everyone. I was just talking to my mom the other day when we were making a Green Chef over at her house about how like, yes, I could go on Pinterest and find a good pasta recipe or something, but Green Chef's sauces and like seasonings just 
make everything so much better. I personally think that's what makes it taste like restaurant food is their seasonings and sauces because it's a lot of times stuff that I wouldn't typically have at my house. If any of you would like to try Green Chef, you can go to greenchef.com and use my code. It's carajane135 and that will give you $135 off plus free shipping on your first box. People were saying in the last video that you're never on camera anymore. Really? Here he is. To me, the less I'm on camera, the better. He would prefer to never be on camera, honestly. I kind of make him be on sometimes. So give this video a thumbs up for Eric for being in it. I could like put up a GoPro in the garage while I'm out there. And you can just put in a time lapse. He's always in the garage nowadays working on his tables and stuff. Okay, it is now time to make my apple pie for 4th of July. Eric's being super dad and wearing Bria because cutest little baby is just fighting sleep and naps. I just don't even know what to do anymore. I've like stopped even trying. I just figure if she sleeps, she sleeps and if she doesn't, she doesn't because when I'm trying so hard to like make it happen for her and she doesn't want to, it's just more stressful on everybody. Eric's mom got me the cutest pie plate that I had on my Christmas list and somehow I am just realizing I haven't made a pie in like seven months because she got it for me for Christmas and this is my first time to use it. But how cute is this? I'll see if it's still up for sale. I think it might've been from Target, I'll see. Also, the best part is it's dishwasher safe. That is like a game changer if I'm gonna buy a dish, so. How cute. It doesn't matter what we see. It doesn't matter what we need. This is my hack for anyone that likes to make apple pies. Cut up the apples, super tiny. It literally makes the pie a thousand times better. It doesn't matter what we do. It doesn't matter what we get into. Cause it's you. It's you. It's you. I know that you. Jump up. It doesn't matter where we've been. It doesn't matter how low the wind just begin. Again, again. It doesn't matter where we go. Oh, that was a good throw. It doesn't matter if it's fast or if it's slow. Cause I know, I know, I know. That's really nice. This is gonna be Bria's first 4th of July fireworks. I remember the vlog I have from two years ago at the same fireworks show when Quinn was like the same size. I'll see if I can find the footage and put some in. Happy 4th of July. Thank you, you too. Thanks. <laughs> this kind of looks like St. Patrick's Day because you are completely green right now on here. Did you get a necklace? Oh, a, a belt. Oh, really? We can make it better. Put you out of my day, turn you into my night, cause you're already gone. We are back home. It's almost 10.30 now. And can someone please explain to me how a little baby refuses sleep almost the entire day? and then sleeps through a billion fireworks going off literally on our street. I do not understand. Like, I don't even think I could sleep through these fireworks going off. But somehow a five month old and a two year old are. Anyway, I wanted to do a little unboxing. I got the cutest package, literally so cute. This is from my management company. So I've mentioned before, but I'm with Table Rock Management. They send the cutest packages a few times a year. Look how cute this box is. How is this even packaging? I feel like this should be framed. A t-shirt, which I will get so much use out of. And the back has a cute desert picture. A nice bag, which I use all the time. And then this is like the coolest cup. I love these colors. It says Table Rock Desert Club and the cutest little keychain and some stickers. 
Thank you, Table Rock. You guys are the best. I think I'm gonna go try to edit my day in the life video, which will probably be up by the time you're seeing this, but I have spent so much time working on that video, so I hope you guys liked it. Okay, it is July 6th now. I think the last time I vlogged was on the 4th. Um, we are about to take Bria's five month pictures. I'm a day late doing it again. I need to take her out of her sleep sack and then we might go to the library. It literally seems like I just took her five month or four month pictures. It was the pictures in the blue daisy outfit and it seems like I just took those like two weeks ago and somehow it's already <laughs> been a month. So we're taking them again. I put her in a big headband for today's picture. I figured all her other ones have been... <laughs> in a tiny headband. Good job! So we can at least have one in a big headband. I don't even know like where to put it on. Oh yeah, that's better. It doesn't matter what we see. It doesn't matter what we need. Cause we're free, we're free, we're free It doesn't matter what we do It doesn't matter what we get into We came to the library, got a little stack of books to take home. I picked them out all myself because <laughs> Quinn wanted to explore with Eric. Okay, this is kind of a crooked angle because I don't have my car tripod, but I'm going to give you a little quick book haul of what we got at the library. First, we got Piggy Paints. Quinn has been super into painting lately, so I thought this would be a cute one. Here. We also got Clifford Barks. She's recently liked Clifford. We haven't really like, I've only put the show on for her once or twice, but we somehow ended up with like some Clifford books from my mom's house and stuff. They actually had so many fall books out already and I wanted to get so many because they were so cute, but it's kind of irrelevant and I try to be intentional about what she's reading in that season or whatever. So I wish there had been more summer books, but I guess those would have been out in spring. So I did get this fall one, here comes fall, just because the pictures, pictures looked so cute in this one and just the colors and everything, they're so bright. This one is, T is for thanks and it definitely looks like a fall and Thanksgiving book but when I flipped through it looked like it was teaching a bunch of words that have, that start with T and that's something I've been working on so much with Quinn is like what words start with and the sounds they make. This book is all about babies at the library so. I thought that would be cute for her and just like fun since we were just there and it's been a while since we went. This one is just literally about babies. My grandpa is great and she doesn't call either of her grandpas grandpa. One is Pop and one is Papa, but it still looked like a cute book. We actually got this one from the library before. It's What Can You See at Night? And she loved this when I checked it out last time, so I thought I'd get it again. It's really cute. It's just about like what's going on at night. She's actually like recently been curious about nighttime too, just like what's outside when it's dark and stuff. I see a shadow. If you watched my day in the life with a baby and toddler video, you probably know she thinks shadows are so fun right now and like finding her shadow and stuff on the ground. So this one's all about shadows and I thought she would love this. This one is sun, snow, stars, and sky. And it's all about the weather, which we've also been talking about a lot. I've been trying to teach her about the weather a lot lately. So I thought this one would be fun. And then Walter's Wonderful Web. It was just a cute book about a spider making a web and he makes them in different shapes. We made a stop at Target to get some diapers. What are you eating? Crackers. Crackers? Cookies. Cookies? Eric convinced me to get Chick-fil-A for dinner. <laughs> we literally circled around in the parking lot twice trying to decide if we should or not and then I was well, like, I have so much to do, I'd rather not make dinner, so. I'm pretty sure I have some free items on the app, so that's why I was circling to log into the app, but it's taking yeah. forever. We've made a goal lately to only eat out once a week and we haven't yet this week. So we were just trying to decide if we want this to be our uh, only eating um, out this week. What are we getting? <laughs> um, Will that be all? Is that all? Yes. 
Can I have a name for you? We are just gonna follow this black crossover in front of you all the way around the building. Okay. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. There's an overtaker down there. Hey, Quinn. What food do we get at this store? Window. We get it at the window, yeah. But what food do we eat from here? Library. <laughs> we did go to the library. What food are we gonna eat? Window. <laughs> What food do we eat here? What food do we get at the window? Chicken, yummy chicken. Yes. Yeah. Chicken and sauce? No, dip. Oh, dip. Food for. Oh, well, mm -hmm. Walter sighed and started again. This time he had made a longer web in the shape of a rectangle. All right, we're back home. We're about to do the girls' bedtime routines because it's already 7.15. We ate our chicken. I decided tonight was a good night to eat out because now I don't have to cook dinner and I don't really have time to cook dinner tonight because I need to edit this entire video once we put them to bed. So I'm gonna do a comment of the day because I haven't done that in a super long time. Comment below. Tell me if you like Chick-fil-A lemonade better or fair lemonade because I feel like those are like the two top lemonades, in my opinion. Or comment if you have one that you like better. I think I would have to pick Chick-fil-A. If anyone didn't know this and they care, Chick-fil-A's lemonade is only lemons, water, and sugar. I know that because I used to make it when I worked there. And that's literally all that's in it. It's a lot of sugar, but it's still only three ingredients, which is cool. That's gonna be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the last few days for us, and I will see you soon with another video. And I actually have it all filmed and need to edit it. It's my breastfeeding journey video. So as soon as I find the time to edit it, it will be up soon too. Bye guys. Oh, you're like the sun comes